Okay guys, so on this next exercise, I just wanted to go through a technique called pourquoi or stenciling. It's kind of French uh, idea. And based on the textiles project for you fashioning textiles people, I wanted to take the Art Deco period as a starting point. And this was one of the designs that I'd kind of thought about. It was kind of like the idea of the golden age of travel, glamour, Art Deco. So I've got this kind of ship, this liner, that I was going to repeat in a pattern. So what I'm going to do first, I've actually um, just drawn a basic idea of a ship, because I think this is very complex to actually produce this pourquoi, and I've done that to understand what pourquoi is, okay? So I've drawn this on layout paper, and this is a layout pad. And what I've done, rather than start on the first page, I've gone back about four pages because I know I'm going to do about three colours on this and that's my basic shape so what I would do there we go I would cut this out so what you see shaded in black is what I will cut out of this paper and then I would stipple through it okay onto a sheet of blank paper and then the next colour I might do, might be a, a nice rich aquamarine blue, is the outside. So that is the shape. And I would do this again for red, for instance, if I wanted to add red or another tone or another colour. And when you stipple through, it starts to pull out the picture and you'll start to see it. And it's the same technique as screen printing, which I know some of you are quite keen to know about, a little bit more about. So what I'll do now is I'll just cut these out and then show you what we're going to do. Okay, guys. So what I've done is I've cut the design out of the various sheets. And this first one is going to be aqua. Okay, so I'm going to use this kind of aqua blue, uh, aqua, uh, an ultramarine and a white just for this design. So that'll be my first uh, colour to go down. My second will be blue and then finally I'll go in with a white and what I'm going to do is use just some of this kind of old vintage sugar paper that I've got hanging around which is just one of them things that I tend to have. Uh, a good thing to do is register your artwork. You can either use a bit of tape, in this case I'm just going to do that and because all my artwork I've just been cutting is um, of the same template. If I match the paper up, it should hopefully fit. If it doesn't, we'll see what we get anyway. Okay, so I'll just bring in the paint so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, this is Aqua and I'll just put this on in the background. So this is a French technique called Pourquoi. And you couldn't do this too often because the paper that I'm using is quite thin. It will start to deteriorate around the edges. Okay, yeah, it's starting to bend and curl at the moment, but I'm hopeful for it. Okay, so this is my Art Deco print. So that's my first one. Okay. My second one, Harris, you're going to look at this, it's pretty cool. My second colour is the blue, okay, it should match up. I'm going to be really um, a little bit crude on this one. I would normally use the same brush, um, cleaned it and dried it, but actually, you know what? I'll use this one, okay? In the meantime, I'll put this in some water and then clean it off. Later. Okay, so this is the blue. You watch it. What do you think is going to happen, Harris? Um, oh, cool. Good. Well, let's see, eh? Oh, I've done this at school. Have you? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah, but they didn't tell you about the French technique. Mm. No, just stippling. That's what they said. This is Pourquoi. It's in that book. Mode 1924, one of my favourite books. 
If you type in Pokwa on the internet, you'll find some really cool designers from the 1920s and 30s. Even a little bit further back. There's also an artist called Mick Manning at the moment. He's working with some really nice Pokwa techniques, um, doing some prints for a company called St. Jude's. Check him out. He used to be a tutor at uh, Manchester Met. Nice guy, actually. So he's doing that at the moment. Okay, it's not, it's not too bad actually. It's not too bad at all. Okay, and the final one is the the white. Oh, it's gonna go straight over the blue there. Okay, I'm not gonna use this brush. I'm gonna use dun, 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 my favorite stippling brush. Is probably in my head. <laughs> okay. Here's the white. Rogue. Hopefully this, yeah, it's cleaned, it's fine. Okay guys, let's get some white on there. The sugar paper works really well against this white and I'll just line it up. Okay, there we go. See, it's not being cut properly, but not too fussed. Ooh, white acrylic, it's not very strong. Maybe, I don't know, a gouache or something might have been a better choice. Okay, maybe a bit more on the, oh, it did, yeah. We'll see, do you think it'll work, Harris? Okay, maybe. Maybe, okay, okay. Let's move this out of the way. But you get the general idea. Okay. So what we got is an Art Deco ship, <laughs> sort of, in um, kind of a Pokwa stenciling technique. Again, done this over, what, five and a half minutes? If I was to take time and spend a whole morning cutting out my template, okay, doing maybe my initial sketch I wanted to do, redesigning it playing with it i think you know what i think you might be on a winner winner yeah okay guys um yeah check out pokwa p-o-r-c-h-o-i-r -R on the internet thank you oh and before i go what i might do now get my camera take a snapshot of it upload it into photoshop or illustrator and make a repeat pattern maybe change the colors Okay, I might even trace it or draw it, but that's what's, what we're trying to do, Cr trying to create uh, repeats and patterns and so forth.